Hi there, welcome again to another watercolor video. Um, this is not really a tutorial type of video, it's more of like paint with me. If you're new here, first of all, welcome and thank you for being here. Now, a few years ago, I made a challenge for myself to paint um, watercolor flower for 30 days using this book. Um, as my reference now I wasn't able to finish that and this year and specifically this month since it's world watercolor month I want to continue that project and finish this sketchbook at least So here I am again with my another watercolor flower Today I am painting a flower called broom now, aside from learning how to paint flowers, I am actually also learning a lot of flower names that I really haven't heard of before. Now, I will put the reference to the materials I used here on my blog, which I will um, put the link below. The book that I'm using is called Watercolor Flower Artist Bible. And I've been using this for this kind of practice. Now, I wouldn't really recommend this for beginners because the book has a very simplified instruction. As in, like, as you can see on my left side, one flower tutorial has only at least three to four instructions. But if you feel like giving yourself a little challenge then this book would actually be very helpful if you wanted to learn flowers in a very easy way so here um, I use three shades of yellow it may look a bit simple like as you can see it's pretty much just a yellow flower but when I was looking at the reference it kind of needed more depth or more shading so I ended up adding three colors so I used Hansa yellow light new gamboge and for the dark part or the part that has shadow I use kinacridone gold and as for the leaves I just use sap green which is my go-to green color uh, I also have another shade of green which is called hooker's green I used to hate it before but I kind of learned while I was using it because I wanted to consume it right away so I kind of learned that this hooker's green is actually good when you want to combine colors with another one anyway going back to the painting uh, this took me about probably 20 minute stops if I just finish painting it in one sitting however in my case I cannot paint um, in one sitting without being distracted by my son so this took me like more than an hour because um, I need to attend to him every now and then and whenever I get a chance I go back painting again so basically this is just it um, it's a very easy type of flower and if you want to see some of the flowers that I painted with this sketchbook um, just like the one on top which is called Aster you can find it here on my YouTube playlist called um, Painting Now you can also check the other flowers that I previously painted on my blog you can check it out www.imartisan.com I've also listed the materials that I use there now what I like about this um, study or this kind of challenge that I'm putting myself to is I'm using very minimal materials so like I just had this sketchbook ever since for this challenge and then as for the colors I'm just using uh, depending on the color that's based on the flower but basically it's just about three to five colors the most sometimes I just add more because I can't seem to get the color from the book 
and if I don't have the same color as it's on the book reference then I'm just using whatever that I have so here I'm just writing the color swatch as my guide the next time that I want to study this again and I'm just adding more details using a very thin brush I think this one is number zero also um, I'm planning to make stickers out of this um, watercolor flowers I've already tested or printed some of the flowers that I did but I'm not quite happy yet but you can check out my studio vlog for this coming week to know how I'm prepping for the sticker making for, of this watercolor flower. Here's a closer look of this flower called Broom. Now if you enjoy this video, please do click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you do. I have more of this coming. So see you again next time and bye!